call him Kipper Kipper the dog Now he can do this Do you think that you could? And he can do that Which is more than any old cat could you like a dog, like a dog, like a dog, like a dog, like Kipper. I'm practicing. Wendy says we're going surfing today. Bob, I meant surfing on the internet. Oh. We've got our own website now. Oh, that's brilliant. How can people find it? Well, the address is www.bobthebuilder.org. See you there. And Rolly too, Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we Morning, everyone. Rise and shine. I think someone's hungry. You want your breakfast, Pilchard? You haven't forgotten the job we're on today, have you, Bob? Oh, hello, Wendy. Of course not. Um, what job? We're going to build that conservatory for Mr Beasley. Oh, yes. Oh, I mean, yes, of course. Travis will be here any moment with the bricks, won't he? Oh, great! <laughs> bricks! <laughs> that sounds like a job for me. Hang on, Dizzy. We won't need you just yet. Oh. Wendy's got to deal with the foundations first. That's right. Uh, come on, Scoop. Mock. OK, Wendy. All right, Wendy. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, well, I think so, yeah. We'll wait here for Travis and the Bricks. Morning, Bob. Hello, Travis. Oh, brilliant. Bricks. Yes, all right, Dizzy. We can go and help the others now. Yippee! Hi, Wendy. 
How's it going? Oh, it's Scoop's almost finished digging out the foundations. Right. Well, let's get these bricks unloaded. Acting a bit strange. Oh dear. Um, what's she doing now? Oh, I get it. She's hungry. Bob must have forgotten to give her her breakfast. Sorry, Pilchard. I haven't got a tin opener. And even if I had, I wouldn't be able to use it. <laughs> going to look for Bob to tell him he's forgotten her breakfast. Oh dear, but um, oh she could get into trouble. Uh, Bilger! No, oh, too late Lofty, she's already gone. Phew, thirsty work this. Fancy a cup of tea, Wendy? Oh, yes, please, Bob. And a sandwich, too, I think. Wendy's great at bricklaying, isn't she, Bob? She certainly is. Oh, uh, do you need more water, Wendy? No, no, we're all right for a moment. Thanks, Dizzy. OK, Wendy. There you go. And a sandwich. Oh, that's funny. What is? Have you lost something, Bob? Yes. I could have sworn I left my sandwich. No. Box. <laughs> what? No. what is it? <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Oh, <laughs> I don't think Mr. Beasley would be too pleased to have a conservatory built of sandwich boxes. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly finished. Oh, why don't you and Travis go and collect the roof? Good idea, Wendy. Right, Travis. Are you feeling strong? Strong as ever, Bob. Come on. Hello, Pilchard. I know what you want. <laughs> you want me to give your ears a scratch, don't you? <laughs> there. You like that, don't you? <laughs> oh, bye-bye, Pilchard. Oh, there. Hold on. Mook, could you run along and fetch Lofty? We're going to need him to lift the roof into place. On my way, Wendy. Trampus? 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 Oh, where is that silly dog? Oh, well. <laughs> I suppose he'll come for it when he's hungry. <laughs> Travis, look out! Pilchard? What have you been up to? Oh, Pilchard. I forgot to give you your breakfast, didn't I? I'm sorry. Never mind. 
I'll get you something really nice when we get to the building site. I've got some tuna sandwiches. Hi, Wendy. Look who I found. A very hungry Pilchard. Come on, Pilchard. We'll get you some... Oh. Oh, uh, did you want another sandwich? Oh, dear. I've just eaten the last one. Hello, everyone. I... Oh, oh. Have I got to lift that? Yes, Lofty. But don't worry. You can do it. And the sooner the better. Pilchard starving. The quicker we can get back to the yard, the sooner she'll get fed. Oh, oh yes. Oh, poor Pilchard. I, I thought she might be here, so I um bought a bowl and a tin of cat food. Well done, Lofty. Uh, Lofty, you didn't happen to bring a tin opener as well, did you? Oh, oh, oh dear. Sorry, Pilchard. <laughs> Oh, Bob, you are silly. What? It's got a ring pool top, hasn't it? Oh, so it has. Breakfast, Pilchard? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> right, Lofty, time to put the roof on. Oh, oh dear! I said you could do it. Oh, uh, yes, and uh, I did, didn't I? the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Postman's brought Finn. I wonder what's inside. Oh, great! My new boots! What do you think, Finn? You know, I think I'll wear them to work today. Uh, Lofty, you're with Bob today. He needs you to help fix a broken gate. Uh, OK, Wendy. Mock, Scoop, you're with me. Right, Wendy. Yeah! Brilliant! Oh, <laughs> Bob, what was in the parcel? My new work boots. Shh, everyone. I can hear squeaking. Um, I can't hear anything. Oh, yes. I can hear it now. <laughs> it sounds like mice. Oh, oh, mice! Don't worry, Lofty. It's not mice. Oh, oh, um, if, if you're sure. <laughs> Bob, I know where the squeaks are coming from. Where? Your new boots. They need wearing in to soften the leather. <laughs> Bob's squeaking. <laughs> you sound like you need oiling, Bob. Oh, you're right, Scoop. <laughs> 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 well... We'd better get some work done. Um, are you coming with me, Bob? No, Lofty. 
I'll walk to the job to wear my boots in. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we can! You see, Travis, the quickest way to Bob's yard is left at the crossroads. I'm sure it's right. No, no, left is the right way. How can left be right? No, no, no left is, is still left, but to get to town, left is right, right? That's what I said, didn't I? No, left is right. You see, Travis, left is the right way, right? What are you two arguing about? The quickest way to Bob's yard. Oh, well, now. They say the quickest way is usually as the crow flies. <laughs> or should I say, as the bird flies. It means the quickest way to get to anywhere is in a straight line. I can walk faster than any old bird can fly. <laughs> I'm not so sure you can, Spud. Come on, Travis. We've got work to do. Boy, I'll show him. Bird, come on. I'll race you to Bob's yard. Spots <laughs> <laughs> on the job! OK, Lofty, let's get moving. Left a bit, right a little. OK, straight down. <laughs> Be careful now. There. That's it, Lofty. Phew! I think it must be time for lunch. Oh! What have you got today, Bob? My favourite. Cheese and chutney sandwiches and a big cream bun. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Quick, Lofty! Oh. It's flying away! After it! <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm tired. Oh, and hungry. Oh, I wonder whose lunch this is. Well, <laughs> finders keepers. Now, let's see. Oh, cheese and chutney. Oh, what's that? Oh, a cream bun. Hey, wait for me, bird. I better save this till I get to the yard. Oh, I hope Mrs. Percival's going to be happy with her new kitchen. Oh, yeah! Phew! Clearing up isn't much fun, Wendy. Can't we do something exciting, like build a super-duper <laughs> playground? Or... No, Muck. Clearing up after a job is just as important as doing the job. Oh. OK, Wendy. Oh. Oh. Phew! Oh, phew! Got it, Lofty! Oh, oh, that's good. There. I'm ready for my lunch after all that running about. Hang on. Who's been eating my sandwiches? And where's my cream bun? Have you seen it, Lofty? Uh, no. Um, the last I saw of it was... Um... Oh, 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 mice! Oh, 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 mice! Oh. Come back, Lofty! It isn't mice, it's only my boots! Oh, mice! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Come back, Lofty! Finished. <laughs> Hello, Wendy. Can't stop. Bye, Wendy. Oh, 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 o
many mice, see? Oh, mice! Lofty, you were right! Oh, sure! Oh, look! They like my squeaky boots, don't they? Oh, oh, I don't like it! I don't like it! <laughs> Phew! Made it! All the way to Bob's yard as the crow flies! <laughs> Beat that bird! Well, at least I can have my cream bun. Spud? What have you got there, Spud? A bun, Bob. It's really... D oh, oh, is it yours? Yes, it is mine. You shouldn't take people's things without asking first. I didn't know, Bob. I'm really sorry, Bob. I, I won't do it again, Bob. Oh, <laughs> Aren't you going to share it? Oh! Uh, oh! Ow! <laughs> oh, Get off! It's mine! <laughs> oh, dear! Oh, hello! Hello! Hello, Wendy! Oh, hi, Bob! Where's Spud rushing off to? Oh, he's... he's just helping some friends get back home. Bob, have you noticed? Your boots have stopped squeaking. So they have. I must have worn them in with all that rushing around. You've had a busy day, then? Not really. You could say it's been as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah, oh! Ow! Oh, get off! Ow! Oh, go away! I'm a cat! Meow! They get the job done Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Bilchard and Bird Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Right, team, it's going to be a very busy day today. Yes, but we're doing two jobs to make the town a nicer place to live in. And the town council has asked Mr Bentley, the building inspector, to check what we do. So, what are we doing, Bob? Well, Scoop, you, me and Rolly are laying grass over the old rubbish dump. It's going to be a park. A park? New grass? Right! I'll get to rock and roll! Uh, what about the rest of us? Uh, you, Lofty and Dizzy are coming with me to the old railway yard. We're going to clear the railway track and make a new cycle path. Uh, what about the trains? Oh, don't worry, Lofty. There aren't any trains. The track isn't used anymore. But there are lots of rails and that's where you come in. There you are, Lofty. Your magnet. You'll be able to pick up the rails easily with that. Oh. Now, remember, Lofty, the magnet is very powerful. You must think hard to control it. Oh, uh, OK, Wendy. Oh, oh, oh. oh hey! <laughs> oh, oh. Now, think harder, Lofty. You've got to control it. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, dear. Sorry. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> Don't worry, Lofty. Practice makes perfect. Right then, team, let's go. 
Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, I think so, yeah. Be very careful with that magnet. Uh, Wendy, are you sure there aren't any trains? I'm sure, Lofty. There haven't been any trains for years. Now, I'll loosen the rails from the sleepers and you lift them into Muck's dumper, OK? Uh, I think so, yeah. All right, team. Let's get to work. <laughs> Morning, Mr Bentley. Morning, Bob. Now, let's see. Phase one, clear all rubbish. That's right, Mr Bentley. All done. Phase one, complete. That's an unusual pen, Mr Bentley. Oh, yes, it's, uh, it's my favourite. I was awarded this by the mayor, you know. It's very nice. Oh, thank you. Now then, uh, what's next? Phase two? Oh, yes, yes. Phase two, lay the turf and, uh, finally... Phase three, roll it flat. All on schedule? All on schedule, Mr Bentley. I knew it would be, Bob. We can always rely on you and your team. Right. I'm, uh, I'm off to see how Wendy's getting on. See you later. Thanks, Mr Bentley. Bye. 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 Oh, yaddy hop on, yaddy ho. Hello, Mr Bentley. Hello, Wendy. Just pop by to see how you're getting on. Oh, fine. Fine. Aren't we, Lofty? Uh, uh, I think so. Ah, Lofty. Using your magnet, I see. Uh, uh, yes, Mr Bentley. Tricky things, magnets. Good to see you know how to control it properly. Uh, uh, yes, Mr Bentley. Well, Wendy. Everything seems to be going well here? Oh, yes, Mr Bentley. Right. Well, I'll get back to the dump then. Bye. Bye, Mr Bentley. <sighs> OK, Roly. It's all yours. Yay! Let's rock and roll! At this rate, we'll soon be finished. Mr. Bentley will be pleased. Hardy, hardy, pop, hardy, hardy, oh, hardy, hop, oh. Right, Mug, you can take all that stuff to the dump now. Okay, Wendy. Oh, uh, what shall I do, Wendy? You can go with Mug and help him unload. Uh, yeah, I, I will, Wendy. Come on then, Lofty. Let's get going. The dump will be closing soon. Oh, Mark! Can you slow down a bit, please? We've got to get a move on, Lofty. If we don't get to the dump before it closes, we'll have to take all this stuff back to the yard. Oh, no, but... Come on, Ned! It looks great, Roly. Ah, Mr Bentley, we've just finished. What do you think? A job well done, Bob. I can sign you off. My pen, it's gone. Oh, dear. When did you last use it? Well, when I was here before, I, 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 I must have dropped it. Oh, no. It must be under the turf. We'll have to dig it all up again. It was a present from the mayor. Hello, Muck. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, Wendy sent me and Lofty to the dump with this stuff. But, Mark, this is the old dump. It's a park now. 
the new dumps down the road. Oh, yeah. Of course. Well, I better get going. Didn't you say that Lofty was with you? He was, but... You certainly have, Lofty. And you've given me an idea. If you found those things, you might just be able to find Mr. Bentley's pen. Lofty, I knew you could do it. Well done, Lofty. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you, Mr Bentley. Well, I'll be off now, Bob. Bye-bye, everyone. Bob, shall I get this stuff to the new dump? It'll be closed soon. Uh, no. Hang on, Muck. There's no need to throw anything away. I've got a better idea. There. Be my guest, Wendy. Oh, you are clever, Bob. Something else to make the town a nicer place to live in. Oh, oh, Lofty! Lofty. Oh, oh, sorry! the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Morning, everyone. You're early, Bob. Have we got lots of jobs on today? Well, Scoop, we've only got one job booked in, and Wendy said she'll take care of it because it's my day off. Oh! <laughs> what are you going to do, Bob? I'm going to have a nice, relaxing day bird-watching, Dizzy. If I'm really lucky, I might get a huh? photograph of a blue-crested warbler. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> a blue-crested warbler! Fantastic! <laughs> Bob, what's a blue-crested warbler? Well, Dizzy, it's a very rare bird with a beautiful singing voice. What? Well, even more beautiful than my voice, Bob. A uh, rocking and a rolling, a rolling and a rocking. Yeah! Oh, no, of course not, Roly. Anyway, it's hardly ever seen in this part of the country, but Farmer Pickles thinks there's one in his top field. Right, I'd better get going. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. See you later, Bob. Have a nice day. Good luck with your warbler. <laughs> Look, everybody. Now I'm bird watching. <laughs> Morning, Pilchard. Now then, all I have to do is get the computer to print out the orders and invoices, and then I can take Scooper Muck to fix that wall. Oh, that's funny. 
The computer isn't working. Oh! Oh! Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I'd better telephone the repairman and ask him to come and fix it. Ah, oh, this is the perfect day for bird watching. Huh? Just a minute. That bird song sounds just like a blue crested warbler. I've got to be very quiet or I'll frighten it away. Great! I got it! Oh no! I left the lens cap on! Now the photo won't come out! Oh. Hello? Sorry to disturb you on your day off, Bob, but the computer's not working. Oh dear. Which means I can't leave the office now because I'll have to wait in for the repairman. Would you mind fixing that wall for me? No problem, Wendy. I'm on my way. Give Scoop my hard hat and tools and send him and Muck to meet me at the site. OK, Bob. Oh dear. What a mess. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Right, team. All finished. You two can go back to the yard. Where are you going, Bob? Back to Farmer Pickle's top field. I'm going to try again to get that photo of the blue-crested warbler. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 Oh, dear. The computer still won't work. I wish the repairman would hurry up. Oh. oh, a fax from Mr Bentley, the building inspector. It's an urgent job. Again? Hello? Hi, Bob. Oh, hi, Wendy. Has the repairman arrived yet? No, he hasn't. Uh, and an urgent job's just come in. A street light's been knocked over and it needs replacing before it gets dark. Oh, dear. Now, I know it's your day off, but can you fix it? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Right, team. If we work quickly, I might still get to enjoy what's left of my day off. No problem, Bob! Oh, uh, hello. Uh, computer repairs. I'm sorry I'm late. I couldn't find you. Oh. Oh, we're in the A to Z. Yes, sorry. Um, I left it behind. I remembered my sandwiches, though. Oh. Well, you better come in. Oh, you, you've got a cat. I'm allergic to cats. Or is it peanut butter? I know I'm allergic to something. Right. What seems to be the problem? Well, nothing happens when I press the keypad. It made some very funny noises earlier. Funny noises, eh? Ooh, funny. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Yes, you're right. Nothing happens. Oops. Hello, Bob's building yard. Uh -huh. Oh dear. Oh, okay. We'll be right there. Oh, another urgent job, and it's a big one. I'll have to ring Bob again. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It is cats I'm allergic to. What's 
wrong, Bob. That was Wendy Scoop. A pipe's burst in town and the road's flooded. We'll have to get over there right away. Right, we'll cut off the supply and suck up all the water with this pump. Then we can get to work. This should fix it. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. There! Oh, uh, the uh, computer is fixed now, I think. Oh, good. Uh, what was wrong with it? Well, <laughs> I think you've got mice. I found this down the back of the machine. Oh, pilchard! Oh, I think they were my tuna sandwiches. Oh, pilchard! Oh, dear. Oh, I'd better make you some more. Oh, no, that's OK. I'd better get going. I feel my allergies starting again. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry about your day off, Bob. Did you manage to get your photograph? No, and I probably won't get another chance for a long time. The blue crested warbler isn't seen round here very often, you know. Hang on. That sounds like the blue crested warbler. It's on your crane, Lofty. Stay very still while I get a picture. Oh, oh, it's not scary, is it, Bob? Oh. <laughs> it's Vita tickling me. <laughs> got it. Oh, I'm glad you got your photo, Bob. Will you take a photo of us, Bob? Good idea, Roly. Everyone get in a line. Watch the birdie. And Rolly too Lofty and Wendy Join the crew Bob and the gang Have so much fun Working together They get the job done Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Bilchard and Bird Travis and Spud Playing together Like good friends should Bob the Builder Can we Bob the Builder! Yes, we can! Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm ready for another plank, Wendy. I'm afraid it's not ready yet, Bob. This saw's so old and blunt, it takes ages to cut through the wood. Ah, right. I've been meaning to get it sharpened for ages. Oh, I don't think that would help, Bob. The teeth are too worn down. You really need a new one. And we promised Mrs Potts that we'd have her fence finished today. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, why don't I take a turn with the saw and you can hammer the planks in? All right, Bob. Oh, oh. oh dear. You're right, Wendy. This old thing is really blunt. Hello, Bob. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Scoop. Is it home time already? Yes, it is. And the fence is only half finished. Are you off then, Bob? I'm afraid so, Mrs Potts. We'll be back to finish your fence tomorrow. I promise. You know, Pilchard, we would have finished that fence today if my old saw wasn't so blunt. So, I'm going to order a brand new one, just for Wendy. After all, she does just as much sawing as I do. You know, Bird, Bob could really do with a new saw. Beep, beep. 
Oh, hello. Is that tools for you? Uh, yes, I'd like to order a saw, please. And it'll arrive first thing tomorrow morning? That's great. Thanks very much. Wendy will be surprised. <coughs> hello there, Spud. Oh, you don't look very happy. I'm really fed up, Travis. Aren't you supposed to be scaring birds for Farmer Pickles? Oh, but well, that's all I ever do. I bet I could do loads more to help people, but nobody ever asks me. They think all I'll do is cause trouble. But you always do cause trouble, Spud. Ah, oh, well, today I'm going to help someone. You'll see. Oh, dear. What are you looking for, Bob? Um, I'm expecting a parcel, Dizzy. Mr Dixon, the delivery man, should have arrived with it by now. Oh, what's in the parcel, Bob? Is it a present? <laughs> I love presents. I'll tell you later, Dizzy. That's the phone. Hello, is that you, Bob? Mr Dixon here. Morning, Mr Dixon. Uh, I've got a parcel for you, but my delivery van's broken down. It's been fixed, but I won't be able to make any deliveries until tomorrow. Sorry. But it was going to be a surprise for Wendy. I know. I'll come by and pick it up later. OK, Bob. See you then. Bye, Mr Dixon. What's this? Oh, dear me. Oh, hello, everybody. Sorry I'm late. I was waiting for a parcel, but it didn't arrive. A parcel? That's funny. Bob was... Action stations, team. We've got an emergency job. A tree's been blown over and it's blocking the road, so we've got to clear it up right away. But it means we can't help you finish Mrs Potts' fence, Wendy. Oh, that's OK, Bob. It is an emergency. We're ready, Bob. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh. If my van isn't fixed by tomorrow, I don't know how I'm going to deliver all of these. Oh, I bet that's someone else wanting to know where their parcel is. <laughs> Some parcels need delivering, eh? I can help with that. <laughs> Special delivery spuds on the job! sacks there when I went inside. <laughs> this sack's really heavy. No wonder Mr. Dixon uses a van. Hello, Spud. Travis, what are you doing here? I've just delivered some cabbages to the market. What are you doing? I'm delivering these parcels for Mr. Dixon, and you can help me. <laughs> Spud? Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. I told you, I'm helping Mr. Dixon deliver these parcels. And what's Mr. Dixon got to say about that? He won't mind. But how will you know who they belong to? You can't read. So, all Mr. Dixon does is drive about giving parcels to people. I can do that. <laughs> Come on, Travis. Oh. Uh. Special delivery! Oh, there's a lot of care going into that rapid. Parcel for Wendy! Parcel for Bob! <coughs> See, it's easy. <laughs> there we are, finished. Now, let's see about that parcel. Hello, Mr Dixon. Bob here. I thought I'd pop by and pick up my parcel. What? Disappeared? OK, I'll call you if I find it. Bye. Listen, team, Mr Dixon has lost one of his sacks, the one with my parcel in it. Scoop, come with me and we'll see if we can find it. Let's go. Oh, there you are, Mrs Potts. Finished at last. Oh, and it looks lovely, Wendy. Special delivery! 
Oh, but, oh, but no, I... No need to thank me. Special delivery spider, that's me. <laughs> but I ordered a new hat. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Mrs. Potts. We're looking for one of Mr. Dixon's delivery sacks. Have you seen it? Well, Spud and Travis have got it. Uh, they went that way. Right. Come on, Scoop. Let's go. There. That's the last one, Travis. See? I told you it was easy. There they are! Spud, what are you doing with that sack? I'm helping Mr. Dixon deliver his parcels. But you've delivered them to all the wrong people. Didn't you read the labels? Um, well, I told you, Spud. I, I was only trying to help. I know, Spud. But now you're going to have to collect all the parcels and take them back to the delivery office. OK, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Then you can help Mr. Dixon deliver them all over again. But to the right people this time. Come on, Travis. Special delivery spuds on the job, Bob. Hello, everyone. Bob's back. Did you find Mr. Dixon's sack? Spud and Travis had it. They're only trying to be helpful. Bob, there's a, a parcel here for you, I think. Wow. Thank you, Lofty. Oh. It's not for me, it's for Wendy. Bob, I found this when I got home. It's addressed to you. Look! <laughs> They've both got parcels. Yeah, I wonder what's in them. <laughs> it's the saw I ordered. I ordered one too. Oh, actually, Wendy, I ordered it for you. Oh, Bob, and I've ordered this saw for you. Oh, that's great, Wendy. Oh, thank you. It looks like Spud got something right after all. <laughs> Special delivery Spud's on the job. Come and meet Percy the Park Keeper and his many friends in a series of enchanting stories on video. <laughs> Morning, Percy. Hello. Watch as Fox. Was it while you were counting we were meant to hide? Badger. Ready or not, here I come. Rabbit. I'm a hare. <laughs> and the other animals join in the fun in these light-hearted adventures. Let's have some fun ourselves. In the rescue party, whilst having a well-earned day off... Just making a little picnic for myself. Percy the park keeper is enjoying doing nothing. That is, until one of the rabbits falls down a well. And it's Percy to the rescue. But as usual, things don't turn out quite as expected. She's turned into a log! In one snowy night, Percy always feeds the hungry animals in the park where he lives. I hope you like peanut butter. Do you? But on one particular cold snowy night, Percy discovers that his little friends are in need of shelter. We're sorry to disturb you, Percy, but we've nowhere to sleep tonight. There seems to be an unexpected guest. There's something moving under the floor. <laughs> In the secret path, it's a beautiful spring morning and Percy is about to start work on the old overgrown maze. I've been meaning to fix up the old maze for ages. His animal friends decide to give him a big surprise. Let's race Percy there and have some fun. 
We can play a really good game with him. But Percy has planned a surprise of his own. <coughs> I beg your pardon. Come on, Percy. Let's get on and get home. That's it for another day. Start your Percy the Parkkeeper collection today.